The weights of a certain dog breed are approximately normally distributed with a mean of 50 pounds and a standard deviation of 5 pounds. Let's begin by labeling the normal distribution shown below, where because the mean is 50, 50 is at the center of the distribution, and the horizontal axis has a scale equal to the standard deviations, which is five. To the right of the mean, 50 plus five is 55, 55 plus five is 60, and 60 plus five is 65. To the left of the mean, 50 minus five is 45, 45 minus five is 40, and 40 minus five is 35. Notice on the right, we have the standard normal distribution where we have the z-scores along the horizontal axis. Now for the first question, a dog weighs 56 pounds, what is the dog's z-score? A z-score or standard score is the number of standard deviations a specific data value is from the mean of the distribution. And we calculate the z-score by using the formula here on the right where the z-score is equal to the quantity x minus the mean, where x is the data value, divided by the standard deviation, or we can say the z-score is equal to the quantity x minus mu, divided by sigma. So because the dog weighs 56 pounds, x is equal to 56 pounds, the mean or mu is equal to 50 pounds, and the standard deviation or sigma is equal to five pounds. And therefore the z-score is equal to, again, the quantity x minus mu divided by sigma, which is the quantity 56 minus 50, divided by five, which is equal to six fifths, which is equal to 1.2. So the z-score is equal to 1.2. Looking at the graphs below, we were given the weight of 56 pounds, which you can see here, is more than one standard deviation above the mean. And we found the corresponding z-score of 1.2, which is here on the standard normal distribution. And now for number two, a dog has a z-score of 0.65, what is the dog's weight? So because the z-score is equal to 0.65, we know the dog's weight is 0.65 standard deviations above the mean. A z-score of 0.65 on the standard normal distribution is approximately here. So to find the dog's weight, we start with the mean and then we add 0.65 times the standard deviation. So again, the dog's weight, x, is equal to the mean, or mu, plus the z-score times the standard deviation, which in our case is 50 pounds plus the z-score of 0.65 times the standard deviation of five, which is equal to 53.25 pounds which on the normal distribution, we can see is approximately here. And now let's take a look at our last question. A dog has a z-score of negative 1.4, what is the dog's weight? So having a z-score of negative 1.4 is here on the standard normal distribution, which means the dog's weight is 1.4 standard deviations below the mean of 50 pounds. So again, the dog's weight x is equal to the mean or mu plus the z-score times the standard deviation, which in our case is equal to 50, and then we'd have plus negative 1.4 times five, which we can just write as minus 1.4 times five. Again, this is minus because the z-score is negative, which is 43 pounds. Notice the weight of 43 pounds on the normal distribution is approximately here. I hope you found this helpful.